So this right here is the Yolanzi tripod at $369. And this one right here is the Komen travel tripod at $259. I know what you're thinking, you're saying, Paul, these tripods both look very similar. And they do, but that's because you see right here, Komen worked with Yolanzi to get this tripod designed and and this is just a Komen design tripod. So there are a few differences that are different other than that price tag. And today we're gonna go over everything about these two tripods and see which one is best for you. So the first thing we're gonna look at when we look at these two different tripods here is the folded size and the weight and Man, I gotta tell you, they look so similar. When I first got this Komen, I was like, wow, you could definitely tell that Yolanzi worked with Komen to get this design because this Komen travel tripod is identical, at least the way it looks like, but there is a little bit of difference in the size and the weight of these two tripods. The biggest difference, I think, is the height. And you can't tell all that much, but see the Komen right here, it's a little bit taller, like it's like a half an inch. This Yulanzi comes in at 16.7 inches folded, and this Komen right here comes in at 17.1 inches folded. Almost a half an inch of a difference there. A half an inch isn't really gonna break the bank, so when I first saw that, I was like, well, that's a huge plus for the Komen, but we still gotta give that point to Yolanzi for being the absolute smallest. While we're on this topic a little bit, you can kind of see that the girth of this Yolanzi right here, this is the Yolanzi, this is the Komen, it's, it's, it's hard to tell on camera, but this one is not nearly as wide. There is a little bit of a difference there in size, uh, not just the, the, the tallness, or the weight. It's now weight. I mean, when it comes to these tripods, I, like I said, I really can't feel the weight difference. The Yolanzi comes in at 1.13 kilograms, which is about 2.49 pounds. And then this Komen right here, it comes in at 1.17 kilograms or 2.6 pounds. They're, they're super close in weight. Uh, the Komen is a, it seems like a hair thicker, but I think that's due to the Tollum design. Really what it boils down to is it's totally the ball head design and that center column design, which makes the weight and the height for them a little bit different. Kudos to Yolanzi for really getting this thing more compact. But we're going to go on to what are these like when they are extended. They, both of these tripods have flip locks and gosh dang it i love flip locks my other tripod that i have is the little twisty knobs and i i just don't like them nearly as much these are just amazing i thought i would like the twisty knobs for like i heard that they're really fast and i use it for my real estate tripod but this is like my travel tripod now and i love that you can just like flip open all the locks just like that and pull these legs open and then like i said same exact design as far as the tripod legs go. There's a very few differences between when it comes to these two tripods between like the base. The biggest difference really is in the ball head and we'll get to that later. But you just flip the open nose and pull. I just, I love that. And then you just, you know, you can do that through for all these. You know, pull them out. And just pull it out. And then you can just collapse these and just kind of roll your hand around to like if you want the fastest way to just kind of collapse these and I love the design of this tripod I gotta say like the flip locks is great and one thing I'm gonna notice right away is that the legs do extend out a little bit further on this Komen and we're gonna get to that in a little bit too I mean height wise they look very similar in height. However, the Yolanzi, uh, if you look, does have a little bit of an edge. The Yolanzi comes in at 62.6 inches, and this Komen only comes up to 
0.2 inches. So very close. And I can tell you the difference is definitely because this legs spread a little bit further apart, which, you know, kind of gives it more stable stability. Now let's see how tall they compare when you go to extend the center column. So center column all the way extended and then center column all the way extended. The Yolanzi is still taller. Another point for the Yolanzi. I think you're going to be seeing a trend here. The legs comparison, they both have the flip lock design and I just prefer the flippy locks. They're so much better. Again, with the legs, this thing is smaller. It has the more triangular centerpiece. The legs are closer together here, whereas on the Komen, the legs kind of are not nearly as close together. Both the feet have these unscrew design where you can unscrew these, and then they both come with spikes. So they both include it. You don't have to worry about it. It's like one accessory that you don't have to really worry about. If you use the spikes, here you go. They come with them. They, they both come with the spiky feet. So yay for, for both including the spiky feet. Now this is the part that we're really been looking forward to and that's the ball head design. I think this that's the biggest factor when you're deciding between these two ball heads right here or these two tripods, specifically in the ball head department. So the ball head on the Yolanzi uses the F38 and I absolutely love the F38. Everything I own has the F38 plate, so I can easily just snap that bad boy on. I press this little button in right here, pull my camera off to the side, and it's done. I can snap it in, and I'm not worried about this even even, even without locking this. This has a little turny lock, where I can you can you know pull it out and turn it up, and now you can't even like hit that lock button. I'm not even worried about that when this comes, I can just put this on, snap it, and I know it's not going anywhere. I've got the F38 quick release plates on every single one of my things for my GoPro, my cameras. I just absolutely love it. So that is the biggest selling factor for me on the ball head of this thing. It's great. Where this still has its own quick release plate, but it's an Arca plate. So if you have the Peak Design stuff, if you have the PGY Tech stuff, or just the regular plate that it com in com comes with, where to go? This is the regular plate that it comes with. It's like an Arca plate. So as you can see, yeah, it, it, it looks very familiar if you have the Peak Design stuff. It's kind of funny, yeah. yeah. But when you have the F38 plate, it's too loose on here. It'll lock into this Arca, but the way that the design of this F38 plate, it's just not designed, like it's a slight bit thinner. However, there is a workaround, which I have it on this camera because I used to use the Peak Design clip, capture clip, and I needed a Peak Design on the front and then my sides or my F38 where it slides in. It's a really cool plate if you use the Peak Design stuff and you also want to use the F38 and you don't want to compromise or use this new um, pl shameless plug. I haven't got it yet, but the new backpack clip for the F38 is amazing. I, anyway, I, I've used it just not i don't own it so i w i quickly went out and bought it but it's it, it's it's still coming this way but i then i'm gonna retire this plate and never use it again i only have this plate just so i can have my backpack straps but that's why i've also not worried about not having this uh me f38 because i have that peak design plate on here it'll just snap right into place and i don't worry about this coming out so that's the trick if you want to use f38 you got to get the peak design plate and it'll fit perfectly in this tripod. So if that was literally your only limitation and you are an F38 user, then you can get that, but you just had to slide, make sure you can't use the front side of the clip to go in F38. You can, you can only use this to left, the left and right side. So, or however you place the plate, but obviously if you're using the backpack strap, you're going to want to be down. So, that's, that's the kicker. And it works great with this tripod. I'm not going to lie. It's also very secure. So literally the only factor about it is, is, is that choice right there. It's got a lock right here. You just push it over the side and then you can't push it in anymore. The other biggest difference between these two is that the Ulanzi 
has a pan. So I absolutely love that about the Yolanzi. You can, there's a pan on this thing and you, you can just loosen it, turn it to whatever you want, keep it there, and then you're, you're solid. With the Komen, you really can't do that. You just, you've got to, you know, loosen the ball head and just rotate it around with the ball head. You can still do that on the Yolanzi, but I really think that pan is just a nice, sweet touch. And because of the pan, you can, I always leave this little ball head release in the back so I can easily get, flip that facing me. It's easy, boom. And then I can turn this knob to adjust it if I want to adjust it at all. It just makes it a lot easier, I'm telling you. So the big, that's the biggest difference between this ball head and this one is this one has no pan. You still have a nice little level back here. So that's, that's really cool. The level for the Yolanzi is kind of like on the back here. When your camera is on there, that's why I do that. I put the level right in the back here and you can clearly see this. Your camera doesn't block it at all. I, I think it's a great location and a great spot, great design. I absolutely love this ball head. It's, I don't know, you, you just, you gotta use it to appreciate it, but you just turn that. It's got two horizontal spots and then you can, you know, go all around, boom, boom, and then it got that pan. So like, that's the biggest thing with the uh, Komen is there's no, there's no pan. So we're gonna go ahead and give a point to Yolanzi. However, like I said, if you can live with the Arca plate, it's still a great thing. Locks in place, just no pan. Pan, no pan. Brings us to the center column. So the, that's where the biggest difference is between these two systems right here. The center column on this one is circular and this one has like a triangular shape, which is why I think it just is closer together when it's folded up, where this one is a little bit more separated. Um, also, the legs have a little bit, they, they spread out a little bit more, which I, goes back to the compactness of the Yolanzi, but the Yolanzi is just a pull tab up, so you pull that up, and then you can poop, raise it and lower it, and then just push it down to lock it. The Komen has your standard little twisty knob, so you gotta twist it, grill and twist it again to lock. That's what you keep twisting. And you gotta make sure it's nice and tight, secure, and then, yeah. So I think this is just not nearly as fast as the pull up. I really like the one on the Yolanzi. So I guess we give another point to the Yolanzi for that one. But this twisty lock is, is definitely not as fast, but it still works in, and that's what most tripods use. So if you wanna save some bucks, the center column is circular. I've tried it. You can take the Yolanzi center column and put it on the Komen. Um, however, it does like wobble a little bit uh, unless you get like this knob. If you just crank it really tight, it will stay and be pretty secure. But it's it's not really designed to work with the the triangular tube. So. And then you can't obviously get the circular tube on the Yolanzi, which I don't know why anybody would need it to, but it doesn't work. Both these tripods have a regular center column where you can put your own ball head on top of it. So if you did want that option, the Komen might be the better option for you because it comes with the circular center column with just the tripod attachment on it. And you can put your own ball head on the Komen. So kudos for Komen on that one. They both have the hook tool at the bottom so it's great it comes with a tool it hides away easily and you can use the hooks to weigh down your tripods if you uh, are very worried about it being secure however with the stuff that i use these for i'm just i just need a great travel tripod on the go that is lightweight and secure enough and both these are definitely secure enough the bags that these come with this is the Komen bag. It's like a fake leathery, I don't know, material. And this is the Yolanzi bag. It's like uh, the same size, roughly. Fits the tripods great. 
and it's like a fabric type of material. I have no preference over either one of these bags. They're both great bags. I think they're, you know, it's great that they include ni nice bags that are fitted to the tripod and you don't have to worry about it. So they both get a point for the bags because they're both good. And which leads us to my final thoughts for this system. And I'll give you a few tips after I've used it and kind of tell you where I'm at. I was like trying to decide between this one and this one originally. And I figured I was just gonna go order the Komen and see if it was good enough for me. But And then I ended up winning this one. So I was able to do this video, which made me happy. Cause I've, I already used this in person before. I just wanted to see how this one was. And after using it, I like the F38 so much that I don't even know why I was considering this. Personally, I'd spend the extra hundred bucks and get the F38. That's me personally. However, if you're looking to save some, this thing goes on sale a lot. I bought this thing for 170, it had a hundred dollar off coupon. So that was huge where um, this thing, you can rarely find it. Right now it's like 329 on sale now for a little bit, but still a pricey er tripod. Um, but it's well worth the money if that's what you're looking into, just straight up the cost. Uh, but when, you, when you're looking to spend $100 less, the thing that you miss out on, once again, is the pan. Do you need the F38? And at the worst case scenario, whatever you use, you can just always put your quick release plate right on top of the included plate and just have it be a little bit taller. So it really comes down to personal preference on which mount you want on your tripod and if you like everything else about this one better or some things about this Yulanzi better there's a third option I'll just go ahead and throw it out there that this is the F380 they have a 0Y which is the uh, regular Arca mount where you just twist it and lock it in place I personally love the F38 like I said get it on everything and your life is changed. It's just a little bit of an investment, of course. With that being said, these both are fantastic tripods. It was so close to the gun, even though the Yulanzi pretty much won it out for points when you're like comparing it. But you gotta decide for you, $100 more or spend $100 more. So if you can live with those few flaws, then get it. If not, this Yulanzi is my travel tripod from here on out check it out there'll be links down in the description below like subscribe do all the fun youtube -y things and you guys know that i will see you in the future video was way long what are we sitting at right now 30 minutes i'm gonna to, like shave this bad boy down a lot what the heck are you doing over there paul you you really you suck yeah we're going with it you suck we're just turning this off right now yeah.